हेलो अस्सलाम वालेकुम एंड हाय स्टूडेंट सो डियर स्टूडेंट टुडे वी विल डिस्कस अबाउट लेम्पिडीमा सो लेम्पिडीमा व्हाट इज लेम्पिडीमा व्हाट इट इज कॉजेस व्हाट व्हाट इज द सिम्टम ऑफ लेम्पिडीमा एंड ट्रीटमेंट ऑफ लेम्पिडीमा एंड हाउ वी कैन प्रोटेक्ट सो वी विल नो एवरीथिंग अबाउट लेम्पिडीमा सो लेट्स स्टार्ट फ्रॉम द डेफिनेशन lymphedema is defined as lymphedema is abnormal accumulation of protein rich fluid in a interstitum secondary to defective lymphatic drainage in the presence of normal net capillary filtration causing chronic inflammation in reactive fibrosis of the affected area so in shortly lymphedema is accumulation of rich fluid protein fluid mean lymphatic fluids so it is accumulated in the tissue um, because of that it will be swell up so why it is uh, accumulating there uh, there is a problem in the drainage uh, so is it uh, many people are asking that can lymphedema be a fetal mean uh, it can cause a death yes it is the condition uh, where in the ca capacity of the lymphatic system collecting the fluid in a severe reducing and the fluid remain in the tissue which result in the swelling of the affected organ causes of lymphedema lymphedema is a result of pulling and uh, collecting of uh, lymph uh, lymphatic fluid within area this is result of damaged lymphatic system mean when your lymphatic system is not properly working it's not uh, drainage is not proper so uh, the fluid is collecting in a particular area so then it can lead to a swelling uh, in severity so there are two types one is primary and second one is secondary cause primary cause is it is genetic and obesity uh, secondary is uh, because of any trauma any surgery radiation therapy so it is secondary cause next one is symptom symptom of lymphedema a feeling of heaviness or tiredness as you see the weight of the feet is increased so basically you will feel a uh, heaviness swelling a part of all uh, your leg or arm including fingers or toes uh mean uh, in this condition uh, it mainly affect your uh, uh, lower limb and upper limb so swelling will occur in these parts difficult moving you cannot uh, move uh, because uh, of heaviness and itching or discomfort uh, yes skin hardness and tiredness um, fold developing on the skin just because of this your mobility also reduce irregular puffiness recurring infections and feeling of tiredness this were the symptoms next uh, stage of lymphedema latency stage the swelling is not yet uh, evident however the limb movement might be impaired I mean there is not uh, swelling but the limb uh, movement is not a uh, proper mean impaired you might uh, stay in this stage for months or years so this is latency uh, stage uh, stage 1 mild early accumulation of limb fluids and stage 2 moderate swelling is there and it does not decrease with evolution uh, stage 3 severe skin uh, change start to develop along with the severe swelling so these were the stages now uh, how we can diagnose the uh, uh, lymphedema uh, by the physical exam examination and test first we will uh, discuss about physical examination history uh, we will take history patient history if uh, he have family uh, history or any surgery history so it is also indication inspection measurement weight i mean if weight is increased we can see circumference of the thigh if it is increased skin assessment uh, uh, nodules bumps or discoloration 
uh, on palpation a uh, temperature usually a bite a warmer uh, steamer signs rule on fingers square and uh, thick skin skin folds pitting edema and fibrosis will be present these are the indicators of lymphedema uh, diagnostic test uh, lymphography uh, which can be done for the lymphatic system impairment venous doppler or venous sonography i mean for the venous uh, drainage we can do that sometime it is just because of uh, dvt indicator lymphogrammy indirect lymphogrammy florence uh, my micro lymphogrammy and lymphocentrography ct scan and mri this test can be done where can lymphedema uh, present lymphedema may present in the extremities trunk abdomen head and neck external genitalia and inner organ at onset uh, may be gradually or sudden so in this uh, mention area this um, lymphedema will be present treatment of lymphedema uh, treatment is both type of treatment um, uh, actually three type of treatment Sur uh, medical treatment surgical treatment and therapeutic uh, treatment uh, so uh, decongested treatment option exercise you will do exercise compression garments you will do compression manual uh, lymphatic drainage multi-layer compression bandage well balanced diet elevating arms or leg uh, to you know, to shuffle the fluids accumulation proper uh, skin care uh, your skin also effect so surgical treatment options are vascularized uh, lymphatic node transfer uh, lymphato lymphatic venous uh, anastomosis mean lymphatic venous are uh, uh, to uh, lymphatic uh, vein will be uh, mean the flow of the fluid will be restricted uh, lympho suction mean uh, when uh, there is a fluid it will be sucked and a uh, skin protection skin protection you will must have to uh, do this care uh, because skin skin uh, in this condition skin uh, infection is uh, mostly occur and the usual that have uh, lymphatic nodes remove uh, are at the risk for lymphedema so for for, for uh, to prevent the lymphedema you will have to take care of uh, your skin to minimize this risk the following uh, precautions should be followed I mean these precautions are uh, done for prevention of lymphedema after surgery of lymph node keep uh, arm clean and dry imply, uh, apply moisturize daily to prevent and uh, chipping uh, uh, chaffing of the skin balance solution attention to nail care do not cut uh, cut and protect exposure skin with the sunscreen and uh, insect repellent use care with a uh, razor to avoid neck and skin irritation avoid a uh, puncture such as injection and blood draws lymphatic drainage exercise move fluid through the lymphatic channels active uh, repetitive range of motion are performed follow a specific sequence to move a lymphatic away from the congested area proximal uh, distal uh, proximal to distal uh, avoid static department posture I mean you, should, you don't uh, sleep or uh, lie down on one side a sequence of exercise proximal uh, starting at the neck and trunk okay and proximal joint moving distantly away from the body uh, 5 reps to 20 reps do this exercise on daily basis precautions are reduce weight avoid inf infection avoid blood work done on infected limb avoid blood cuff in infected limb avoid change in temperature example ice heat considered compression work especially during exercise in air travel include a certified lymphedema therapist in your patient management program patient education what you will educate if your patient have a lymphedema or he is at the risk of 
protect the skin sign uh, of infection grease worry return to activity self management self massage compression garment exercise weight management uh, obesity and uh, body fluid volume uh, fluctuation are beginning be associated with the development of lipidema I mean obesity this thing will be common in lipidema so uh, to manage uh, obesity you will have to exercise in previous slide we have studied that and thank you so much it's are about lipidema